Hey guys, I'm Getsu134 here, bringing you another Kamen Rider vi uh, build vlog. Yeah, I, um, I thought I'd do change things up. I normally do My Hero Academia, but since I'm kind of behind on build, at least a week behind, just because it takes forever to, for me to find episodes, for, for me when the place where I watch uh, the episodes to come out, uh, come out. So, um, whereas I can, I can watch My Hero Academia pretty much like Sundays when it does finally come out. Um, so anyway. We are on episode 39 of Kamen Rider Build, and uh, in this episode, we finally see uh, uh, Katsuragi finish uh, the Genius Full Bottle. Uh, uh, basically, that, that panel of the Pandora's box uh, is finally turned into a bottle. Um, however, he still cannot use it as he has lost the ability to trust and uh, to bring out the power of the Full Bottles. As he no longer has Sento's Spirit of Justice. Um, but thanks to Ryuga, uh, Gentaku, and uh, Kazuya, they managed to awaken the his the they managed to awaken Sento and Katsuragi and Sento become one person fi again, and Sento finally becomes a f becomes a common writer of uh, common writer build genius. So yeah, um, I thought this was a really good episode. I loved, I loved um, seeing Gentaku try so hard to redeem himself, um, especially since he's one of the few um, turncoat riders, as I like to call them, like the, the one of the few anti-hero riders that actually feels a lot of regret for what he did as a mo as a villain, even though he, like, and to be fair, he really didn't, he really wasn't that way of his own design it was due to the, due to being affected by the light of the pandora's box but still he feels a lot of sorrow because he's the reason why utsumi and katsuragi are the way they are and you know uh, he, he, and he's also the reason why the rider system became a tool of war um so you know i really like i really liked seeing him get a lot of uh character stuff especially seeing as how like I bought a Splash Driver and a Nebula Steam Gun and the Cracked Full Bottle because I love the Common Rider Rogue suit. Um, he's probably one of my favorite rider designs in this, aside from uh, Kroz and Grease. I like all three of the the side riders, and I like Build. I just think his his other like his other forms, like outside of like the the mixes, are so much more important to him than anything else. Um, and there, I like I like his his. His own like I like I like Rabbit Tank Sparkling I like Rabbit Rabbit Tank Tank, uh, Black Hazard, but like like all of his full bottle combinations are just kind of meh for me with the exception of like Gorilla Mond. If any if there's any problem I've had with the show it's the fact that builds forms are so plentiful but really don't do much outside of his main forms. The thing it always kind of seems like the show is more focused lately on other characters over Sento, but then again. We're getting into the into the halfway point or the into the end game, so I, I feel like he's going to st he's going to play a much greater role, especially now that we're finally into the forties. I'm curious to see how long this series will go. I feel it's going to last longer than uh, X Aid, which only lasted forty five episodes. I was really surprised. That it has to be probably one of the shortest series we've had in a while. Like I think most of the, most of the seasons before that were like 47, 48. Um, I think the longest so far of the second Heisei, um uh series was uh was wizard with 50 um i can't, to be fair I, I um i think most of he say gen, uh gen 1 was basically just all like in the in the upper 40s low 50s and to be fair it's not i it's, I, I mostly say they're long in in, in terms of he say technically the longest common art series is the original with 98 as it had two riders, and then they had a series where it was the two of them together. Um, the first double rider series, as it were. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I think it was really cool. I liked, I liked seeing everyone dealing with the fact that like Sento isn't there, and the groups, and, and while the group's not falling apart, the group clearly doesn't have the the drive as they did before, especially with. Katsuragi constantly saying that Ryuga is going to turn into Evolto again and turn evil. 
Um, and we've, we've definitely been seeing that as, um, or at least something is going to happen as Ryuga keeps having visions of uh, Evolto's first moments uh, getting to Mars, as well as the destruction of Mars. Um, and we also um, we also get a, a, uh, brought up the question again of why exactly Evolto wants to conquer this world instead of destroying it. Um, and we also see that like Evolto and uh, Utsumi's team up is fragile at best um mainly for the fact that utsumi clearly doesn't understand why he wants to rule over just destroying everything and also why there is two uh evil drivers my guess being that he actually originally made it for ryuga so they could merge with each other or something he doesn't really explain it he just says don't ask pointless questions which makes me think that really utsumi is just a pawn for his bigger goal Either that or he's using it to maybe power himself up. As uh, I wonder why he hasn't completely gotten his full power out as he did show it off a little bit in the previous episode when he killed the Gear Bros. Um, that he's quite powerful. I mean, granted, he was already really powerful when he had in Stage 1 and he's just gotten more powerful each time. I think the only time we really saw him have any sort of defeat is when Sento... Um, was willing to take himself with the Pandora with the Pandora panel box, but uh, which failed. But he he still it still made us that he couldn't use the e uh, the the evil switch as it needed more energy, and he managed to drain all the energy using the box panel. Which could be explained what how, why exactly the panel is able to become the genius full bottles that it needed energy from Evolto, um, but we're not sure. I also don't really understand how he's able to use the purification machine when the evil driver's no longer inside it. Or Misora was in it. Like, Misora was actually sleeping outside, So, but it could be argued that maybe perhaps Vernage, his power could still be pulled via the box. Um, or just Takumi's genius. I did, I did love when the hair popped up to show that that was... But didn't pop up all the way up like it normally does. It popped up to the side, clearly showing that a lot of Sento's personality quirks do come from Katsuragi, but he's all he's basically Katsu, uh he's basically Sento without the sense of justice and responsibility. Um but clearly he he is his scientific urges outweigh his his like of people, which has not really changed until Gentiku, who's been pretty badly damaged. He got he gets really beat on by Itsumi. Um like he got like shot in the face a couple times and just like, really beat up. Like, he was actually out for, I think, a majority of this episode. He was unconscious. Um, but still, I, I, I liked it because especially when Gentiku's like, I need to, I need to get up if, like, oh, oh yeah, we also see he talks to Sawa about how they were both children of Namba and how Utsumi was constantly, basically, like, the president of Namba's, like, basically servant he was and he had no abilities like to have emotions of his own he was made to be a servant of nanba um and so and like they go back to the episode where utsumi gets shot by uh by gentaku he's like he talks about how utsumi wanted you know his only his only desire was to basically live a normal life like have a normal child like he wishes he could be had been have a normal childhood where he could live and laugh and be free and you know, and and betray and in betraying Utsumi, which is kind of weird because he, you know, Utsumi was technically a traitor to him, but like I guess Utsumi in a way found a way to live by serving Gentaku. Although I think it, it kind of implies that Gentaku or Utsumi has no way of living on his own, so he lives as a servant for others, um, which is kind of a a thing you see a lot in Toku, uh, especially with villains where they a villain probably wouldn't be evil, but due to the fact that um, they have nothing else. They simply live for others, and then when their person dies, they end up finding someone else to live for. And usually, they end up dying pretty tragically. So I figure that's probably what'll happen with it to me. Um, but I'm sure he's gonna be Mad Rogue for a while. So, um, and I do love him as Mad Rogue. He's he's really unhinged, especially in this episode. It kind of shows that, like, you know, he's 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 lost so many like places. And he feels like you know he's lo he's been betrayed or lost so much, but he does he, it doesn't matter because now he can finally live how he wants, and so he wasn't wrong, you know. And he even challenges uh, Katsuragi because it's like, 
you know what it's like, Kataragi. We've both been betrayed so many times, but we, we both have managed to survive and get back up. You know, we, we weren't wrong. People will betray us, and the only true thing that won't is science. And and it shakes uh, Katsuragi because, in a way, he realizes he's he's that person. And when Ryuga protects him, he's like, the reason, you, especially when the genius full bottle doesn't activate, because he's not synced with it, because he's lost the rider spirit, as which is what, you know, Ryuga had to learn to do in order to become Kroz. You know, and I love it, because even, like, you've lost your spirit. Sento fought for justice and truth and to use science to protect people and to use it for for the for for good and to as a tool to protect, not as a tool of war. But you've you've lost that and you've you've become so focused on revenge and stopping evil that you've you've allowed yourself to become corrupt. And that's finally what kickstarts Katsuragi to get his memories back as he and I guess awaken Sento from deep within, which I really like because it shows like it shows the inside of uh, Sento's mind, and you see all the all the mathematical equations and these gears that are shaped like the build logo, and he's like, "So this is the world you've created, Sento. Very well then. I looked forward to seeing what more you create." And they finally merge back together, and the gears start turning, and the formulas start moving, as if saying that like that Sento like didn't really die or was erased from Katsuragi's mind. Nearly he had retreated because the fragments of his memories were still in there, but they were, but most of them trapped are still trapped within the rabbit uh, full bottle. But in well, doing so, Sento awakens and is able to finally gather the courage and soul needed to keep on going. I was thinking in a way, it's also kind of a remind a reminder that, Nintendo that he should live so that he can make the world he wants real instead of constantly trying to, like, die in order to stop everything. And so in doing so, he's finally found the resolve to keep living and to finally move forward to stopping evil. And in doing so, he gets the power of the genius full bottle, which allows him to merge all of the full bottle's power into his own body to create the genius form. And I have to admit, I really like it. My only real complaint is the fact that, like... Okay, so I like the fact that all, he has all these pipes that are clearly the full bottles. Um, all 60 of them. Um, the only real complaints I have with that look where it has the full bottles on the end and the energy's pouring into his body is that I don't like how it how it makes the eyes look. I think the eyes look a little weird, but not bad. I, I, I it'll, They'll grow on me, probably. And the other is that he has uh, them on his elbow, and they stick out really weirdly. I feel like that's an awkward place to have those. But I, I guess they had to in order to have all 60 on there. Um, I also like that he has um, the circle, like the, the orb thing that's on the full dri on the bill driver, also on his, his head. I thought that was really cool. I like the design. Uh, it ends before he really does anything, but I thought it was neat. Um, we also see... Once again, I, I, I guess I'm jumping around, but I, I just liked a lot of stuff about this. I um, Points to Ryuga for, like, wanting to live and him and uh, Kazuya having a moment where, like, uh, you know, they, they fight and Kazuya basically wants to, doesn't want Ryuga to feel bad because, like, they're friends now. And he knows that Ryuga won't turn evil. Um, and, and Ryuga even says, like, I, I appreciate the thought, but even still, if, if I, if, it were to come to that, would you destroy me? Um, although I don't think so. I think Ryuga's finally found his own place. Um, maybe at the very end, he'll be forced to, like, decide between his power and not, and evolve. But, like, I don't think he'll die. I think he's too popular to die. Plus, you, I, you know, if, if Grease and Cross can live this long without dying, I think, I think Ryuga can live through the whole series. I especially don't want Kazuya to die, because I like Otoya Kurodai's actor... Uh, from Kiva, too much for him to die again. Um, I also hope Rogue doesn't die. I really like Rogue, and I don't want him... I've actually liked this this turn where he's turned good. I'll have to watch the miniseries when the series is over. I don't... I The movies I don't do right away because they usually come out later anyways, and I usually prefer watching the films and the supplementary material after. I know that's kind of weird, but I feel like a series should stand on its own without the supplementary material. You know, I... And don't, and especially because the show even you know will state like oh this is this is based on the Kaisers, like for the Gear Bros or like they talk about how uh, Gentiku's training to become Kamen Rider Rogue was what caused him to get his memory to get his original personality back. 
you know, there's not, and especially like the the seven full full best the seven best matches. You know, like that that was so pointless, especially when it barely did anything for Hazard. I just I prefer to watch the stuff afterwards to fill in the gaps for myself as well as to see if it really if they really are important or not. Um, I kind of doubt the build the build movie that's coming out is going to be super important. Um, as I feel that it, it's uh, it's kind of just a a supplementary material, as it were. But uh, we'll see. Um, I, and especially because I feel like it's going to take place like in the series as like an alternate universe or something. But uh, we shall see. Um, all in all, I think this was a good episode. I really liked that Sento came back. I know a lot of people probably miffed that. He, he only was gone for, like, a couple episodes, but to be fair, he's the main character, and I wouldn't want Sento to be gone. I like Sento. I think he's a good main rider. Um, and I think I think the show is better because he's uh, who he is, especially because he's the reason why so many of these riders have become good people, and I look forward to seeing the, how the series ends. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it uh, for this episode. Um... Join us again uh, tomorrow. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna put it up tomorrow as well. But uh, we shall see. Um, uh, I, I might hold off a couple days. I might wait until Thursday to do uh, my Hero Academia. I like to try and like separate them a little bit. I think Monday Thursday isn't a bad little um, time. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it um, for build for the week. I'm looking forward to seeing. How the genius form will uh, will do, but until then, guys, I am Zonga two one thirty four, and I will see you all in the next time. Next time, until then, guys, take care.